What have you got on now? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, or good evening if you're watching the video during the evening. Welcome to Wilderspool Stadium, Warrington, for the vital slalom lager encounter between Warrington and Barrow. This is virtually a four-pointer for both sides, both sides trying to avoid the drop into the second division. Your teams this afternoon, Warrington, welcome return at number one of Steve Hesford, number two, Brian Carbot, number three, Ian Duane, number four, Paul Unane, number five, Mark Forster, number six, Ken Kelly, number seven, Andy Gregory. At number eight, Tony Worrell. Number nine, Carl Webb. Number ten, Bob Jackson. Number eleven, Bob Eccles. At twelve, Mark Roberts. And at thirteen, Mike Gregory. Substitutes for wire, Paul Ford, number fourteen. And at fifteen, Glyn Shaw. The Barrow team, number one, Steve Tickle. Number two, Mick James. Number three, Ralph McConnell. Number four, David Hazelwood, number five, Les Quirk, number six, Dave Elliott, at seven, Dave Kearns, at eight, Dave Clough, at nine, Barry Lightfoot, ten, Kevin James, eleven, Steve Mossop, twelve, Mark Fitzgerald, at thirteen, Derek Hadley, substitutes for Barrow, number fourteen, Colin Todd, at fifteen, Steve Ray. Coach to Warrington, of course, in the white, primrose and blue, the coach being Reds Bowden, and Barrow in blue and white, coach Tommy Bishop. Linesman, or should I say touch judges this afternoon, J.A. Unsworth, with the blue flag, S.P. Golden, with the yellow flag, your referee from Leeds, Mr. D.J. Croft. Shaking hands with the referee, Ken Kelly shaking hands with the referee and linesman. And the barrow captain, David Kearns, also shaking hands. The mascots to toss the coin. Just heard the Sparkomatic commercial loud and clear. Here we are perched above the Fiesta Leisure on the roof of Snookers. Let's hope that Warrington, Warrington can put a few points on the board today. And ease our relegation problems. Referee Mr. Croft of Leeds limiting up to cold afternoon and a very, very poor gate this afternoon. Warrington playing in the light strip from left to right to the return of Steve Hesford. Welcomed by a lot of fans, I'm sure, although I do believe that Paul Ford has been playing super football in the last few matches. And so there's the kickoff. Hesford kicks deep. And it's taken by the Barrow wingman, Mick James. Inside the 25 area, in front of the main north stand, Barrow in possession. Barrow clearing the line, through the 25-yard line. 
Kevin James. Barrow moving the ball. Eccles in the tackle, assisted by Andy Gregg. Barrow still in possession, ball thrown back. Long kick. Covered beautifully by Brian Carver. What a take in a win like this. That's Carver, number two, with the ball. Lovely take. Carl Webb. No, it was Mark Foster acting half back, sorry. Wires first, time in possession. Magnum Wardle. That's Magnum number eight. Can't get a pass in. That's Webby, dummy half. Captain Kelly. Kelly looking for the gap, can't find it. Inside the Warrington half. Webb. Andy Gregory, a long pass. It's too high. Too high for Mark Foster. And the first scrum of the game. Barrow's head and ball. David Cairns to feed. Looks as though he's feeding. Referee agrees with me. And Warrington got a differential penalty. I'm sure that Heston will kick for touch. He's placing the ball. Likes to do this to Steve. No problem finding touch. Steve Hesford's left leg left me very heavily strapped, but it wanted in possession. It's Kelly to Bob Jackson. Bob Jackson made a great team in. Looking for support. Finds it with Webby. Webby. Gives to Kelly. Kelly plays to Webb. Webb out to Worrell. Worrell looking for the gap. Well tackled. Fitzgerald the tackler. It's Carl Webb with the ball. Ten yards out. Bob Eccles. Kelly. Gregory. Lovely pass from Gregory. To Mark Roberts. But Mark Roberts snuffed out and crashed to the turf. Plays it. It's Andy Gregg going blind. Gives the ball to Paul Yunane, Paul Yunane beats one man, dribbles out of another one, he's going through and he's just tackled, inches short of the line. Very clever, deceptive player. Yunane kicks forward, goes through. He's tried it before and it hasn't worked and it didn't work that time. Thinks very quick, this Paul Yunane. And it's a drop out from under the sticks for Barrow. Good rug with them from the wire. Let's hope it's a sign of things to come this afternoon. Barrow drop deep. Carver takes it beautifully. Running to his wing position. Taken down and pushed into touch. Ken Kelly shouting instructions. I think that Brian Carl was getting a little rollicking from Kelly then for running into too close to the touchline. You can hear everything the players and the referee safe from up here, it's marvellous. And Kelly to take this tap. Webby alongside him. Move coming up, I think, here. And Webb gives it to Gregory. Round to Kelly. Kelly on to Foster. Uh, sorry, Roberts on the burst. On the barrel 25 yard line almost. Carl Webb dummy half to Kelly to Mike Gregory penetrates the 25 yard area of the Barrow half of the field and it's Webb to Worrell Ken Kelly looking for a gap but loses ground that time Webb the dummy half Bob Eccles Eccles looking for space referee rules obstruction penalty kick to Barrow obstruction by wire fullback Steve Tickle to take it No problem, over the top of the stands. Lightfoot working a switch move here on the Warrington halfway line. Barrow ball. Fitzgerald. Very tough, brought down well. Jackson and Waddle the tacklers. Kearns. Barrow still with it. Into the Warrington half. Kearns 
Dave Hadley, throwing Derek Hadley. Long pass, bad pass. Bruno looks completely in touch there. The referee disregards it. His linesman disregards it. The referee penalizes one for offside. The wingman was definitely in touch then. Less quirk. Steve Tickle with the kick for Barrow. He's going for goal. Long kick this. 40 order. Both sides needs the points this afternoon. This is a four-pointer, as they say in rugby league. Tickle the kick. Looks good, and it is good. Good old kick. Barrow in the lead, two points to nil. Bob Eccles places the ball, holds it, or Hesford kicks deep, trying to make it bounce in play and then out. But it's almost a knock on by James, the Barrow wingman. Three holds it. Three Warrington forwards are there. No two Warrington forwards and Mark Fox are there too. Crash him onto the deck. He plays the ball. Barrow lose it. That's four passes the referee. And a scrum down. Almost in front of the barrel post. 15 yards out. Warrington's head and ball. Andy Gregory to feed. Referee not satisfied with the scrum. Gregory, but it's their ball. David Kearns gets it, but Gregory's got him nailed. Inside his own 10-yard line, he plays it. Baron number 12 being dragged into touch, and the linesman on that side agrees that there's a bit of a dust up there. Someone's throwing a few punches. Andy Gregg's in the middle of it. Referee says, come down. No warnings. And it's Wires head and ball again. Differential penalty. Andy Gregory feeding his own forward. Didn't look like that to me. To me, the ball didn't go into the pack, but I'm sure Steve Tickle will take it. Referee not satisfied with the ball. Ask for another one. There doesn't seem to be any ball boys on duty this afternoon for some reason. Steve Tickle of Barrow, number one, to kick to touch. Finds it well. Life of the tap, working a move round with the number eight, David Clough. On the halfway line, Barrow in possession. Steve Mossop, grounded well. Eccles and Mike Gregg, the tacklers. Barrow in possession, moving this ball well. And look like a knock on, and it is, David Cairns. Another scrum. Once again, Wires head and ball, Andy Gregory to feed. But it comes out like a rocket, the referee's not satisfied. Re scrum. Webby can't get his head in. The referee's lecturing the origin forwards, they're going at each other like bullets. The referee's still not happy with the origin back. The crowd don't like the delay in the game. Gregory's got the ball, he's coming blindside. He's struggling out of tackles. Strong little man, Andy Gregg. Ian Duane taking it, number three. To Mike Gregory, to Ken Kelly, to Bob, Ge Bob Beckles. Takes it well, low pass. Throws it one-handed American style to Mike Gregory. Mike Gregory's grasped. Webby to Jackson. Jackson tackled almost on the halfway line. Plays it to Webby. Webby, dummy half. Looking for space. Gives it to Mark Foster. Mark Foster running hard, but tackled well by number six for Barrow, David Elliott. Referee rules knock on there. 
lots of mistakes from both sides so far this afternoon. I was in the Barrow dressing room earlier on and the tension, well, the tension was tense, what more can I say? It's a vital encounter, this, for the both teams. Both clubs fearing the drop into Division 2, but Barrow now on the attack and the standoff making a break. Elliot give it to the number nine. Barry Lightfoot. Sorry, it's number eight, David Clough. It's passed now. Kearns has got it. Coming right along the line. McConnell. Fitzgerald getting treatment on a touchline, getting a Tonto head bandage from his physio as Hesford prepares to kick off from this end to spot. He kicks rugby in his style, but it's too deep. Mike Gregory puts in a super knockdown tackle on Kevin James. Fitzgerald with it, making the break. Cole Webb, the tackler. Barrow have had so much of this ball. Jackson, Worrell and Eccles in the tackle. Derek Hadley, nice pass there. To Elliot, Elliot, lovely reverse pass. McConnell, McConnell, it's work. In the Warrington half, David Kearns, Captain Barrow with the ball. Fitzgerald, Clough, Kevin James. Well tackled by Mike Gregg and Mark Roberts. Thrown back. Elliot kicks. I'm sure Hester's got this covered. Now he's letting it roll. And it rolls dead. Why get the tap from the 25? It's <coughs> worthy to take the tap. Number nine to number ten. Ozzy Jackson. Plays it to Webb, to Kelly, to Magnum. Magnum Waddle with it. Foraging hard. Hard tackle there from Fitzgerald. The crowd don't like it. Neither does Waddle, but he doesn't object. Ball's ball to Andy Gray. He slips. And he was roughed up there by Mark Fitzgerald. But Warren didn't have it with Kelly. Long pass to Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts looking for the gap, trying to find space. Kelly's acting half, takes it left, long pass to Bob Jackson, Bob Jackson pushes it back to Andy Gregory, Andy Gregory's in the space but brought down again, this Fitzgerald tackling very hard and very well. Paul Unane to Ken Kelly, puts in a little chip, tagged well by Steve Tickle, and Tickle is tackled by Carl Webb. In the better half, David Kearns. Ooh, that's a super tackle from Bob Eccles on loose forward Derek Hadley. As Fitzgerald with it to Mossop. Eccles and Wardle in the tackle there. Kearns. Three men to bring the barrow man down. Wire six points to nil in arrears. And Barrow on the tack again. Almost interception from Bob Jackson. Whose ball is it? It's Barrow's ball. It's Hazelwood making the break. Good send of this boy. Hesford takes him. And it's a good break from Elliot again. 
Elliott to McConnell, McConnell inside to the right wing man, who brought down well into touch, a superb tackle by being Bob Burley Eccles. Good rugby this from Barrow, the beat witness last week, that was a great win. Can the wise tame them today? They've had all the football so far. 15 minutes gone. And it's Andy Gregory's feet, and it's foot up against the barrel hooker. Very light foot. And it's a differential penalty to Wyatt. Andy Gregg places the ball. Talking to Hesford. Hesford's going to punt it in uh, place into touch from the deck. He finds it more accurate. And he slips it simply into touch. Or he can get the tap from the long side where the ball pass the touchline and Bob Jackson runs onto the pass from Carl Webb but he's unceremoniously dumped by Fitzgerald the hooker and now it's Magnum Waddle with it going left he's got Paul Dumaine with him he can't get a pass in he's tackled very well indeed by Kevin James that's Kelly dummy half he makes a dummy and gives the ball to the fast running Mark Roberts Webb at dummy half to Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory, long, accurate pass to Bob Eccles. Bob Eccles turns left, he's looking for the right hook gap. Has he found it? No, he's going down. Good tackle there on Big Bob. Mark Foster gives it to Paul Yunane to fellow Australian Bobby Jackson. Bob Jackson tackled almost on the barrel 25. And the referee's not happy. And he gives a penalty, I think, to Wire here for holding Bob Jackson down. And this should be a certain two points to the golden boot of Stephen Hesford. He's just outside the barrel, 25-yard line, and he's about 10 yards left of the left hand upright. On the best side for Steve, being a right-footed kicker, this should prove no problem. His first first team game this season. The Barrow fans boo. And Hesford kicks wide, and that's a very bad kick for Steve. He can't believe it, but he missed it. And Barrow on the attack again. It's Warrington's ball, though, a loose ball to Webb. Webb gets it to Mike Gregory. Mike Gregory trying to make the break inside the Barrow 25. Webby to Kelly to Gregory, Andy that is, Andy jinking away, trying to get a pass in, but two barrel players crash him to the turf. Webb at acting halfback to Kelly to Jackson, Jackson trying to make the vital break. It's Ian Duane at dummy half, Ian passes to Ken, Ken to Andy, Andy jinking away, has he got support, he's finally he puts in a little kick, it's touched by a barrel player. And it's well smothered by David Kearns, number seven, captain of Barrow. Just a few yards from the Barrow line, but Barrow in possession, playing well. Still Barrow clearing the line. This is Barrow in the attack. Mark Fitzgerald with it. Webby and Kelly in the tackle. Fitzgerald, Kearns. Kearns to Steve Mossop. Steve Mossop grounded on the Barrow 25. Kearns, a dummy half, swings it back to Tickle. Tickle's put in a kick. Look, well covered by Mark Foster. Very popular boy here, local lad. But he can't beat his man this time. Kelly, dummy half. Looking for the gap himself, but no, it's not there, Ken. Almost on the halfway line, wired in possession. Wall running onto it, Wall with it, number eight. Barrow tackling very forcefully indeed. Why can't just get through it all? Bob Jackson's trying again. Carl, Webb, dummy half to Andy Gregg, working a run around, but it's a move that Mark Robert scores by knocking the ball forward straight into the hands of Steve Moss of Barrow. And now, once again, it's Barrow in possession on the attack. Oh, 
Barrow moving the ball well. Now we bring in the number 10 down, Kevin James. It's Kearns with Fitzgerald back to Kearns. Kearns drops it, knock on, scrum down. Halfway through the first half here, very cold afternoon. Rain this morning. It's gone very cold now. It's a nice spring days during the week. Cold today and another very good crowd. I put it about 2,000 myself. But there's some soccer on television this afternoon live from the team from Merseyside playing in the cup. I know they're playing Barnes, they can't think who they're playing. It's Barnes versus somebody or other. Well, this is rugby league, not the round ball game. And the oval ball goes in and bounces out, and the referee rules differential penalty feet up against Fitzgerald, the barrow hooker. Differential penalty to Warrington, and Steve Hesford's coming up to take it. He's placing the ball again, kicking towards the Fiesta Leisure side of the ground, below our camera position. He slots it simply. A super boot, Mr. Hesford. It's Ken Kelly to take the tap. Run around with Webb and Bob Jackson coming on the burst to Ian Duane. Into the Barrow 25 area. Jackson, Kelly, Andy Gregory. Back to Kelly. Kelly to Ian Duane. Brought down well. Moves forward, Derek Heavily. David Kearns in the tackle. It's Webb round to Bob Eccles, looking for the gaps. He's found many, many times, but it wasn't there then. He had support from Mike Gregg. This time it's Ken Kelly. Misses out a man. It bounces, luckily, into the hands of Ian Duane. Just four or five yards from the Brad uh, Barrow line. And here's Steve Hesford. It's an up and under. He's good at this. But no, Steve Tickle beats him that time. Lovely take by the fullback, Tickle of Barrow. And it's up to the Barrow forwards to clear the line and then get the backs moving again. Fitzgerald. Steve Mosser. Fitzgerald, the dummy half. He has support, throws it back. Here's a kick. A long kick. Hazelwood, I think, the kicker. Very long kick. Very long kick. Hesford's not running very fast at all, he's taking his time. But he's watching the man come and it's his ball, what will he do with it? I think he'll give it to Carver. Yes, no, he does, he's he does, no. Steve looked rather slow. I think he should have given it to Carver. Carver's got it this time. And it's Mike Gregory with the headband. Almost lost the ball, but... Just inside the Warrington 25 area, inside pass to Worrell, nicknamed Magnum because of his likeness to the television character. Kelly back to Hesford who puts a long kick to the left, but it's well covered. No, it's not. Yes, eventually taken by Mick James, who gives it to Dave Elliott. This stand looks very fast and very clever. Inside the Warrington half, just in front of the north stand. It's David Clough, the number eight, with it. Tackled hard, tackled well. Kearns, the captain. That's Clough losing it to Bob Jackson. It was James losing it to Bob Jackson. The referee moves by all side. Clough, the offender, and a penalty kick to Warrington, is it too far for Steve to go for goal? No, he's going for touch. And he just finds touch. Not kicking as deep as normally, but it's his first time back for many, many months. And this is Kelly. He's an ever-present. Now it's Worrell. Just over the bar of 25. Kelly dummy half, going right, working a switch, it's Webb to Eccles, Eccles, back to Gregory, Gregory's going over for a nice try, but there's an incident of the ball involving Mark, 
Roberts and the number 11 Mark Fitzgerald so it's a battle of the marks the linesman's on he's brought Mark Fitzgerald out fancy fighting when your team's getting a try scored against it doesn't make sense does it I'd like to see this and I will see it in the video replay but they looked forward passing that Warrington move but the referee didn't see it it's about time referees gave wise something Turned out to be a very good try. Mike Gregory will be very happy with that try and the Wire fans will be happy if Hesford goals it. Let's have a good one, Stevie. Right off today, Stephen is. So it's Barrow in the lead, six points to four with 25 minutes gone. And it's Barrow to kick off. It's good standoff, David Elliott. Places it for Steve Tickle. Tickle kicks low and deep. And the safe hands of Hesford gather it. Hesford runs up through his own 25 yard line. Knocks Elliott off as he gets up. Andy Gregory to Mark Foster. Mark Foster inside. Mark's strength is on the wing. Even been on the outside. This is Magnum Worrell. Brought down well by Jerry Cavalier. Elliot's injured. Looks like a facial injury. The Warriors are still in possession. Worked with it. This time it's Andy Gregory weaving his way. Trying to find that opening for Mark Foster on the wing. Elliot's all right. The Borough Physio on and off in no time. Waddle to Kelly to Bob Eccles. Eccles with a long hoping pass. Referees never cease to amaze me. That obviously came off Gregory's legs. And it's Barrow's head and ball turns to feed. Referee a little bit whistle happy. But it's Barrow's ball. Elliot with it. McConnell knocks on. It's kick deep. And Foster beats his wingman beautifully on the sixpence. He's coming inside, but he's well tackled indeed on the 25 yard line. And a heavy second tackle from number 12, Mark Fitzgerald. And it's Bob Jackson with it. So Paul Yunane, Paul Yunane's got it. What will he do? He's going for his wingman. Nice pass. It's taken very well indeed. By Mark Foster, two Barrow men injured. It's Kelly with it to Andy Gregory. Come on, wire, put your pressure on. That's Roberts, that's Eccles. That's one handed lovely take by Mike Gregory, but a beautiful tackle by Les Quirk. Long pass from Kelly to Gregory, finds him well. Lovely long pass floated, taken well by Mark Foster. Mark Foster on that wing. Crowd getting excited, so am I. And it's wire with it, long pass from Andy Gregg, and it's a kick from Kelly, taken beautifully by Steve Tickle, who's an excellent fullback, but he's tackled beautifully by Mike Gregory. Ten yards from the barrel line. David Hesselwood in possession. Barry Lightfoot, the number nine. I may have referred to him as Fitzgerald, but it's life at number nine. We all make mistakes, as the head jug said when he jumped off the scrubbing brush. The Barrow are not making many mistakes. They're in the lead, six points to four, and there's a nice kick. Finds touch very well indeed. The kicker being Steve Tickle. Half an hour gone of the first half, and I'm sure Reggie B 
will be giving the team rather a first team talk at half time why desperately need these points and the referee's not satisfied Gregory's not happy he has to feed again and it's Barrow's ball Lightfoot getting so much of this ball for Barrow David Kearns plays it Mark Roberts ruled offside and it's a kick to Barrow, Steve Tickle no, it's David Hazelwood to take big lad the centre kick Steve and finds touch Big bustling number 10, Kevin James for Barrow. Well inside the Warrington half. Barrow right foot, number 9. Gives it to first yellow. Light for taking the ball to Kearns. A run around with his loose forward. Gets it to Clough. Clough, pass, it's knocked down. Anybody's ball. Referee says play on, free ball. The Barrow man bundled into touch. By the Warrington loose forward, the Warrington left winger. Messrs. Gregory and Forster. Another scrum down. Warrington's had and ball. This looks like wise ball. It's Gregory to the referee's not happy. He moves offside against Kearns and stops a possible Warrington move. then Hesford kicks the ball almost into the director's box and it's Webb to play two balls on the pitch one's knocked off quickly and the referee orders Webb to play the ball again because there were two balls up on the pitch and Webb plays it gives to Kelly Kelly to the only man backing up and that's Tony Worrell Webb to Kelly Jackson Jackson foraging hard, but not finding the gap for him to pass. Oh, there's a retaliation punch there from Bob Jackson to the Baron man, who the referee saw crack Jackson. The linesman's on to confirm he saw the incident. He's bringing the captain up, David Kearns. And the player's been lectured. I can't see his number. He's got a headband on. It's Fitzgerald who's been in the rough two or three times. The hard man of the barrel pack. Mark Fitzgerald. I'll remember the name. It's Waddle again. No one at all backing up. No one. Crowd not sad it happy with the barrel tackling. It's fierce. Andy Gregory working a run around with Bob Eccles. Bob Eccles running, finding space, straightening up, looking for space. Give it to Kelly. Kelly to Waddle. Waddle running left. To Unane, Unane dumbing inside, jinking but not finding the gap. Waddle's injured, Kelly with it, to Mark Roberts inside the Borough 25. Gordon Pinkney giving attention to Tony Waddle as wire play on with Kelly. Kelly a very bad pass but it bounces and Gregory gets it, gives to Hesford who gives to Mark Foster who's brought down well it's Webb dummy half this is an up and under very high skyer from Unane Hesford knocks his back but straight into the hands of Dave Elliott and Andy Gregory's there with Bob Eccles to bring Elliott to the turf it's the hard man Fitzgerald moving the ball out Mossop number 11 tackled by Jackson Kern under Clough. Not Clough, it's Kevin James. That's definitely David Kern. Beautifully tackled right round the legs by Jackson. It's Fitzgerald, the big number 12. To the number 9, Barry Lightfoot on the halfway line. Barrow in possession again. Referee indicates one tackle to go. Will they kick? I think they will. Thrown back to Steve Tickle, and I'm right. He keeps it, the ball's knocked down, it's anyone's. It could be Warrington's, it's a beautiful pick-up by Andy Gregory, but it's well tackled. 
Gregory plays it to Unain. Unain gives it to Mike Gregory, to Kelly, to Mark Roberts. Bob Eccles has had a knock. Mark, uh, Mike Gregory throws a pass to Carl Webb, who's knocked down, and the referee immediately gives a penalty to Wire. And I'll bet my after match pint that Steve Hesford will kick this. If I'm wrong, because he's not been given the chance. Kelly's decided that. Stephen has missed enough and Calvert takes over the kicking and I've lost my point. I think Kelly must have heard me. But Calvert's been kicking well in the past matches and Kelly's decided to let Calvert have this kick. Brian Calvert has the confidence and the style. This could level the scores. Four or five minutes to go before half time. And it's Calvert. 26 yards out. And he misses it dreadfully, just like Steve did. This is a bad day for kickers at this end. The wind's incredibly strong up here, but it's against Warrington the touch flags are blowing towards the Willis Spool Causeway end of the ground. Clock end as old faithfuls like to call it. Arnie Wire with it. Andrew Gregory to Kenneth Kelly. Andrew dummy half to Big Bob. Big Bob's got it. Looking for the gap. He's found it. He's found it this time. He's running straight. He's running strong. He's running well. He throws the ball inside. But Paul Unane can't gather it. That was a fine run from bustling Bob Eccles. The crowd enjoyed that one. And it's a scrum down. Ten yards out. And it's wise ball. Andy Gregg gathers, but David Kearns is around the pack on him quick. Roughing him up a bit. I'm sure Greg will get his own back. The referee catches Barr offside, and this is a kick in front of the sticks. And if they don't kick this one, well, I'm coming down to take the next one. <laughs> Captain Kelly calls upon Brian Carver to take it again. Oh, he don't miss this one, but the wind is really fierce up here. Don't know what it's like down there. Very, very cold. And it's Carvet to place it right in front of the sticks. Will this level the scores? Have we got a goal kicker this afternoon? I ask myself, and the answer is yes! And some idiot with a hooter hoots it. And so, with just a couple of minutes to go or so before half time, stoppage time to be added. Of course, the scores are level. Six points apiece and everything to play for. What a second half we could be in for. Steve Tickle, the number one to kick. He kicks deep. Who's under it? It's the very same hands of Brian Carbett. He's brought down hard by Hooker, Barry Lightfoot. He plays it. It's Webb to Mike Gregory. himself. Well players object. Referee doesn't. Gregory's got it. Andrew that is. Mark Roberts. Hadley and Kearns in the tackle. Still in the Warrington half. Thrown back to Steve Hesford. Steve Hesford kicks. High. Work is underneath it. Can't beat his man. Carpet's got his legs. Mike Gregory comes in to assist and that's the half time. Hooter and People go for a welcome coffee or a pinter at half time, and we're stunned up here on the top of Snooker's freezing cold without a drink. Ah, oh, what a shame! But all to play for six all half time in this vital encounter. Why I must win this one. Well, as 
teams come on to the field for the second half. They're played on by the ground system of the match of the day feed. No, it is the match of our day after all. Can't see any changes on either team. Yes, there is. There's number 14. Colin Todd is on at number 14 for Barrow. Don't know who's off. One thing I can never understand in rugby league. We know the subs are in the game. They put the numbers up, but they kick off. And it's taken by Ian Duane. Warrington centre. Brother Ronnie still suffering from bad knee injury. Bob Jackson never gets injured, this man. Carl Webb. Andy Gregory. He's got the break. He's got Mike Gregory with him. This boy can run. He's the schoolboy champion. He's going for it. Will they get him? Yes. Less work for Steve Tickle. Lovely tackle. But why putting the pressure on? Obviously, Bolton's had words during the interval. Magnum to Mark Roberts. He's seen the gap. And he's going for it. And he doesn't miss that one. That was a fine try. Warrington come out in super style. Well, that's the best rugby we've seen for a while. All match. 51 seconds into the second half and Mark Roberts scores for Wire. And Wire in the lead for the first time in the game. Mark Roberts, he'll be happy. And Hesford's trusted with the kick in again. Obviously there's been a discussion in the dressing room at half time. As to why take the kicking off Steve and give it to Brian. And now Steve got the kicking back. Taking his time. Not bothering with Mr. Sandman Steve. The first to make his own mark. Points the ball. Almost upright. He knows what kick is all about. Warrington's record point scorer of all time. He's taking his time. Action's always the same. Control, beautiful balance. And he pulls it to the left of that post. The kick is not going with him today. But Warrington are in the lead. At last, 10 points to six. I can't see who's gone off the barrow. Perhaps someone can spot it for me. David Hazelwood kicks deep. It's the try scorer, Mark Roberts, that takes. Tries to beat loose forward Derek Hadley, but doesn't. Kelly, Bob Jackson's running onto it. Non stop Jackson. Kelly, dummy half on the 25, gives it to Worrell. Tony Worrell. Carl Webb, number nine. Kelly six, Eccles eleven. Tackle by Barrows number eight, Dave Clough. Carl Webb throws it back to Steve Hesford. Steve Hesford kicks. I don't know where that was supposed to be, but it's beautifully taken by David Hesselwood and Warrington Aru offside. It's Brian Carbert. And it's a penalty kick to Barrow. And it looks like Dave Hesselwood's gonna kick the touch. I thought he may have let. Steve Tickle go for goal. But no. The room's against him. The touch touch his flag blowing vigorously as the big bustling man, Mark Fitzgerald, number 12, crashes into the Warrington defence. It's number 10, Kevin James. He's grounded by that Bob Jackson. I'm not right. Very well, light for the hooker out to his half back. And it's number eight, Dave Clough with it. It's that very classy standoff that's missing, uh, Dave Elliott. Dave Elliott, who caused a lot of problems to Warrington in the first half, must have got an injury. He was injured earlier on in the game, and he's replaced that standoff by Colin Todd, number 14. It's Barrow's ball, tickle up with it. McConnell, McConnell's trying to beat Hesford. 
Bad pass to his wingman, taken well by Mike Gregory, who very sensibly comes inside, away from the touchline. Warrington in possession, Andy Gregory with the ball. Bustling through, beats two men, but tickles in with that tackle. Good fullback, this tickle, no doubt about that. Kelly, Bob Eccles, trying to straighten up, but no, throws it inside to nobody. Gathered from the floor, and a lovely rugby union type pass from the floor from Webb to Yunain, who's taken beautifully round the legs by David Heselwood. This time it's Mark Foster. Barry Lightfoot in that tackle with his loose forward, Derek Hadley. Kelly back to Steve Hesford, who kicks long and deep. And tickles following that ball. It bounces beautifully for him. He's trying to beat Mark Foster, but no way will he beat Mark Foster. He was injured in that tackle, that was a very hard tackle on his shoulder, that from Mark Foster. Very hard, lad, is Mark. It's Lightfoot to Clough. And the referee sees a knock on Someone's ball is scooped out of Lightfoot's head. Into the crowd, a few people sitting beneath us. Get over there, get over there. Get over there, get over there, says the referee. Get over there, get over there. And it's a differential penalty. Andy Gregory penalised for feeding his own forwards. Fancy doing a thing like that, Andrew. Gregory questioning the referee and accepting the referee's explanation as Dave Hazelwood kicks it and kicks well. It's Barry Lightfoot, gives it to the Houtman Fitzgerald, but he can't break the tackle of Bob Eccles and Mike Gregg. He plays it to Lightfoot, to Hadley, to Clough. Gregory and Roberts in the tackle. David Kearns to his hooker. Barry Lightfoot. But it bounces into Bob Jackson's hands. And wire again. In possession with Mike Gregory. But the referee rules Barry offside when Warrington are on the attack. Once again breaking down a Warrington move, I reckon. But Hesford will gain valuable ground. With the kick, places it on the deck. Steadies himself. Looks down, looks at the ball, never takes size of it, and slams it superstar in to touch. And the sub coming on for Barrow, it's Steve Ray replacing Ralph McConnell. Bob Jackson foraging. Kelly, dummy half. Wall running onto it. Blind side. Nice pass to Unane. Unane slips it to Mark Foster. Mark Foster beats one man going onto the touchline. Just about keeps his legs inside the field of play. He's playing this one to Carl Webb. Carl Webb to Ken Kelly. Ken Kelly gives it to Andrew Gregory. Andy Gregory can't beat the tackle of the loose forward uh, Derry Cadley and the number 11 Steve Moss of Barrow. He plays it to Webb. Webb does a run around with Kelly. He got his head taken off. Todd is on, and I notice Ralph McConnell is on. And then tell me who went off. It was Steve Tickle that was taken off. It was that tackle of Mark Foster's that caused the injury, I'm sure. And Steve Tickle replaced by the number 15, Steve Ray. That's a loss for Barrow, and this could be two points for Warrington because Tickle's had such a smashing game so far. Now will Steve Hesford put this one over? Only one goal for Warrington on the board, two tries. He makes no mistake, and his fans cheer him. That's Hesford's first goal for the first team this season. And Warrington into the lead, 12 points to six. And they need more points. Make sure of this one wire. We don't want Doncaster and Heighton next year. Ah, oh, sorry, Runcorn and Highfield. Sorry, Fletch. 
Comey, are we going to see you, Jeffrey? Run corn high field now. That's Bob Jackson. That's Calwell. That's Andy Gregg. That's Ken Kelly. He's seen the gap. He's through the gap. But an ankle tap stops him on the halfway line. Carl Webb, Andy Gregory, work around with Bob Eccles. Still with Andy Gregory. I heard rude words from Andy Gregory then. He's, he got a very hard tackle. He used a four-letter word that only Billy Connell is allowed to use on television. And it's a nice long kick. And it's taken well by Steve Ray, playing a full-back in place of Steve Tickle. That's a good tackle there. Combined tackle from Unane and Carbett. Barrow with it, in the wrong 25. Garvitt's got a facial injury, but he, I think he'll be all right. Kearns, now oh, this is, looks like Warrington's ball, it's Andy Gregory with it. The crowd on the feet there, they thought Greg had found the opening. Wilder must put the pressure on now, let's hear it, Wilder, let's have it, come on, Ken Kelly, looking with the gap, swings it right to Bob Jackson, to Mike Gregory, trying to go straight, and it's knocked on. Duane, 10 yards from the Barrow line. Barrow now playing, of course, towards the railway end. Very few people under the old spying cop stand. Pushing the fence against the Warrington pack. And Dave Hasselwood will kick for touch for Barrow. And doesn't find it. Carver's got it. He's running straight. He beats his man now on the outside. He's down. Very popular player, Brian Carver. South Kelly. Here's Bob Jackson. Crashing through. Why putting the pressure on now? Bowden's at his bark. Going in the interval. Looks like it's working. Ken Kelly's got it. Long pass to Mark Rollins. Mark Rollins. Good pass to Wayne. But brought down well by the number 15, Steve Ray. It's you name with it, playing to himself. He's going towards the sticks. He's four or five yards from the barrel line under the sticks. Kelly's got it. Kelly throws it right to Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory's running, throws it past the ball back because he missed it, knocks on. And barrel ball. Advantage. And offside against Warrington. Three Warrington players offside. Barrel get the kick and the press is relieved. Warrington should not have been offside at that point. Dave Hasselwood will kick to touch, he does, he finds, and the ball will be played. It's been played by Barry Lightfoot, the hooker. It's Kearns, it's to Clough, and it's intercepted. It's Warrington powering in now with big Bob Eccles. Can he get his man? No. The man is felled off the ball. Carl Webb is felled off the ball. And the referee does nothing at all about it. Magnum Warrell's got it. And the referee says, play on. This is ludicrous. And it's played. And the ball's with Kelly. And Kelly's going right. Look at his face. Puts in a kick. He's following it himself. It's second well by the number 14, Colin Todd. Not the Colin Todd that played soccer for England, but the same name. And this is that fellow that the crowd loved to hate, Fitzgerald and Webber went in very hard. And the referee doesn't like it, and the referee brought Webb out. You can't knock Webby out without getting one back, believe me. He's brought Webby out for a lecture, he's bringing Kelly, he's signalling an elbow tackle. He's harsh words to Kelly and to Carl Webb. Kelly says to Webby, calm down. Webby, do it when he's not watching. Would Ken Kelly say a thing like that? No, no. And it's David Hazelwood again. This is the high one. Over the stands. Oh, what a day for Ocker. You'll have to run for that ball. And Barrow running onto this one. It's the big number 10, Kevin James. 
Next side in the second half, you can probably hear the crowd have risen to the occasion. They realise that Wire are in with a big chance here. And that Fitzgerald's in on the second tackle again. This man is getting away with murder. Well, if you can get away with it, well, why not? And it's one and two ball, it's taken by Barrow, it's gathered by Andy Gregory. And a penalty against Gregory for putting his foot up, and Gregory can't believe it. And Gregory has words and he loses ten yards. Keep it closed, Andy. That's twice for one... He's given him another ten yards back, he won't stop talking. They'll score a try without running at this rate. That's twice for Warrington have been on attacks that by stupidity they've lost ground and they lost 20 yards that time. Plus the kick, which was another 30 yards. It's stupid. There's the big man, Fitzgerald. Ooh, crashing out into Bob Eccles. He's game for a game, this boy. Never mind game for a laugh. That crazy programme. That's Kevin James. He's crashing through now. But he's brought down on the one to 25. Barrow realised they've got everything to play for too. They need the points as much as Wire. They beat Witness last week. Will they beat Wire this week? They're not winning at the moment. And Warrington are tackling fiercely, but two attacks have been thrown away by offsides and talking out of turn. And that's the hooker of Barrow losing the ball. And David Kearns chips. Soccer style grounds it, but the referee saw the offence, thank goodness, and brings back both packs for a scrum in front of the post. So 18 yards out. It's Wires head and ball, as they like to call it now, as Gregory feeds. Is it in? The referee says no. And I don't believe it! It hit the prop's foot, and it gives them a differential penalty. It's Barrow with it. It's the substitute, Steve Ray, the number 15. He's being grasped by the blonde-haired Gregory and the blonde-haired Jackson. Barrow on the attack. It's the loose forward, Derek Hadley. In front of the Warrington Sticks, 11 yards out. David Kearns, the tricky captain, to Clough, the big number eight, loses it, and Hasford gathers. Wires ball, referee takes his place in the Barrow lineup. Magnum gets the ball from the play. Magnum brought down well by hooker Barry Lightfoot on the Warrington 10 yard line. There's a Warrington player injured, can't see who it is, but it's not Mike Gregg because he's got the ball. Gordon Pinkley coming round the physio, but he's decided that the player's all right. It was Webby, I think. He's all right, Webby. And this is Bob Jackson with it on the 25-yard line of the Warrington area of the ground. And it's back to Steve Hassford, who puts in a very long kick. Do this test. Still in the lead, 12 points to 6. It's a tap from the 25-yard line. By Barry Lightfoot to Derek Hadley to Barry Lightfoot number 9. He from the ball inside, it's taken by Waddle. Waddle gives it, but it's knocked down and he bounces it off the barrel. Where in the King Kelly, the referee says, wipe the slate clean, six more tackles. Mark Foster with it. Bob Jackson's down, but we'll be all right. I'm sure Paul Humane's got the ball. And the referee shouts held, he plays it to Colworthy, he takes it right to Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory slips it to Bob Eccles, Bob Eccles beats a very high pass, and the ref, the very high tackle, the referee rules, obstruction again, just as it looked at why they're going to score. Barrow get the pressure, let off them, and they get a free kick, a penalty which will be taken by the big number for David Hazelwood, who boots the ball and hits the roof of the North Stand and bounces back onto the field of play. Lightfoot, Barry Lightfoot to take the tap. Big number eight, Clough. David Clough plunges into three Warrington tacklers. And it's Fitzgerald. As soon as he gets the ball, the crowd start to shout, but he doesn't get far that time. 
Hadley. Hadley. Colin Tom. Long pass and a good pass. Down the three. Ralph McConnell inside to Steve Ray. David Kearns. It's lost. Who's got it? It's Mike Gregory. Fire in possession on the halfway line. Bob Ethel's having behind his head, Sean. He just interfered with the play. Sensible ball. Mark Robert plays it to Carl Webb, Carl Webb to Andy Gregg, to Mike Gregg, no relation, but teammate just the same. Carl Webb takes it right to Ken Kelly, Ken Kelly low pass taken well by Bob Eccles, Bob Eccles swerving, trying to find space, throws it back to Tony Waddle, Tony Waddle with that ball, goes down with the ball, good tackle from the number nine, Barry Lightfoot. A little juggle from Andy Gregory, bringing the ball to the left but can't get through. Two barrel forwards, put him onto the turf, he plays it to Mike Gregory. There's a strange kick from Steve Hesford, but he's got it, would you? Oh, and he knocks it on! Nothing's going right for Steve today. I saw him in the A-team on Wednesday and he was magnificent with a sub for Warrington. Glenn Shaw is coming on, replacing... Uh, Mark Roberts, who's had a good game and gets a nice round of applause from the crowd, he scored that super try, remember, so there's a rearrangement in the pack with Glinshaw, number 15, playing near side prop, and it's a bad pass, and Pesford knocks on. It's not going right for Steve today, no how he feels, no how he feels. So, Bob Jackson's gone into the second row with Bob Eccles, so with two Bobs in the second row. And it's a feeding offence against David Kearns, and Warrington get a differential penalty. Eccles has the ball, he slips it to Hesford. Hesford's going to kick for touch. I think he'll place it, yes he does. We'd like this right in the corner, Stephen, if you don't mind, please, right in the corner. Well, it's not a bad end, not a bad end. Almost on the... 10 yard line, 12 yards I'd say, out turn, it's Bob Jackson running onto it like a demon, but he can't, he's there, no he's not, yes he is, yes, he's in there, the referee wants a try, and that's a try that Bob Jackson has been waiting for, for many, many matches, didn't he go, didn't he go hard, oh yes, there were four men, he just pushed through them, all the players congratulating the popular Aussie, and he throws that fist of in delight, a try from Bob Jackson. We don't see many of those, but we saw it today when it was needed. And didn't he go hard? And this Barrow pack of no pushovers, but he certainly pushed them over there. And thankfully, referee Croft was right on the spot to say, that's a try. Steve Hesford again entrusted with the goal kicking. Will it go right for him this time? I hope so. Two goals, three tries on the board for Warrington, one goal, one try on the board for Barrow. And it's Steve Hesford to attempt to kick this goal. And it's wide of the left hand post. Oh, it's not going right for Steve. But we're into the lead, 16 points to 6, that's 10 points in the lead, and that's vital. Barrow need to score two tries and kick a goal to equalise. And it's a long kick, taken well by Captain Kelly, shows the ball, jinx but can't find the gap. He loses the ball. To Derek Hadley, number 13 for Barrow on the Warrington 25. Warrington offside, two points here for sure to Barrow if they attempt the goal kick. It's right in front of the post. Will they decide to run it, as Bill McClellan would say, or go for goal? There's consultations. David Kearns is talking to David Hazelwood. David Hazelwood wants to go for goal, but it's given to the number 14, Colin Todd. He's going to attempt to put this one over from underneath the sticks. Yes, well, I would believe there's plenty of time left. 
20 minutes or so left. I've not got my stopwatch. Got my Mickey Mouse watch, but I can't get the ball into Noddy's eye. And that's a goal. Colin Todd, the scorer. Warrington 16, Barrow 8. Round about 80 minutes to go. Nesmith kicks that beautifully. Bounces the ball in the try scoring area and into dead. And that means Barrow have to drop out from under the sticks. That's the best possible type of kickoff in rugby league today. But it takes some doing. You've got to be a good kicker. And that's what it is, and he takes that brilliantly well. He's running well. Les Quirk has him tackled well into the barrel half, almost on the 10 yard line. They are now on wire. Carl Work, uh, Ian Duane, Andy Gregory dummying away. Going right, throws it to Brian Calvert, but Calvert can't get far and he's knocked into touch. That try of Bob Jackson's was his third for the club. Doesn't score many tries, but does a lot of tackling and a lot of foraging, does Bob. Alex Barrow's ball from the scrum. David Kearns, little nippy scrum half to David Hazelwood. Lots of Davids on the uh, Barrow team. But a few Goliaths with wire today, and it looks like wire's game to me. But I shouldn't be so optimistic with at least a quarter of an hour to play. Ralph McConnell to David Kearns, beats his man, beats another man. It doesn't beat Ken Kelly, assisted by Glenn Shaw, the Welsh baritone. That's Steve Mossop with it. He plays it to Barry Lightfoot, takes it left to Derek Hadley, Derek Hadley. And a dive on top of Derek Hadley and Carl Webb from that man, Shaw. Here's David Kearns, puts in a little chip, it bounces for him well, takes it well, throws a pass, but taken, the pass is taken well by Warrington's number three, Ian Duane. And this is Glenshaw, he'll be fresh and fighting fit, but he's unceremoniously dumped onto the grass here at Willis Bull on this very cold March afternoon. Bob Eccles, he's not cold. But it doesn't get far this time. Will we see one of Eccles' super tries? It could do. Andy Gregg's with it now. Andy Gregg makes the break, gives it to Kelly. Kelly to Mike Gregory. The Mike Gregory's covered by McConnell. He throws a one-handed pass to Mark Foster, who's ran to the line. He's very fast. He goes inside. The super try. And that was a super team blue. What a great pass. And what a great try. As Alex would say, what a try. And this will cheer everyone in the club up from director level right through the team, through the staff, to the spectators. A super try there, a team try, finished up beautifully by number five, Mark Foster, who scores repeatedly whatever the team's performance. A local lad that's certainly making good. Wire into the lead, 20 points to 8, and got to say, the game looks safe, and Barrow must be upset and disappointed after beating the mighty Chemex last week. Steve Hasford to take. I'll put another point, he gets this one, he's had a bad day, so it must come for him. Will he or won't he? I'll say he will for a pint. Pulls it wide of the left post. He can't believe what's happening. He works his head in disgust. And That's another pint gone. I'm not talking about pints of beer, though. I'm talking about pints of green old Whitley. <laughs> and a cheer. Because Eddie Whittam acts as ball boy, the photographer. He kicks the ball and gets a round of applause. 
as Eddie Fuller, the second best photographer this season in rugby league, sits on his stool with his camera at the ready. David Hasselwood kicks deep and it's taken by the try scoring Bob Jackson. Why into the lead, 20 points to eight, two goals, four tries. Barrow, two goals, one try. Granada Television with us here. Highlights, Monday night. Tony Waddle's got it. Elton Wellsby on the other end of the gantry, making his comments on the game. I'm sure he'll have something to say about Steve Hesford's return to the game, the first team. Not very outstanding. And the ball's taken from Ken Kelly. You don't see that very often. And uh, Kelly's penalised for holding the man down. Barrow get the ball. And Dave Hesselwood comes to take it. 10 or 11 minutes to go. Dave Hesselwood kicks left, kicks high. Ball ends in the crowd in front of the yellow section of the main stand. And it's in the Warrington half. And move that big man Fitzgerald, and he's beautifully tackled by Bob Jackson. That was a cracker. It's a cracker, that Bob. And it's the number 10, Kevin James, foraging ahead almost on the Warrington 25 yard line. Barrow must be hoping for miracles. But David Kearns never gives up. And that's the big man, number 8, Clough. He's brought down no problem by Bob Jackson and loses the ball. But the referee says Warrington finished the ball when the ball was on the deck and gives a penalty to Barrow, which is easily kickable. But Barrow decide that they need tries, not goals, and Hasselwood kicks right and finds touch very well, about 14 yards out from the Warrington line. Barry Lightfoot gives it to Fitzgerald, and he beats Eccles, but doesn't beat Magnum. Not many people beat Magnum. And that's David Kearns, a run around with his loose fall, but it's Clough coming up and he gets nowhere because there's Carl Webb to crush him to the deck. David Kearns, and that's a substitute. Steve Ray running well, Burl Little Lad, Curly Hair. And that's the big number 10, Kevin James, running well. But what is now covered, Bob Jackson and Mark Foster into the tackle. The pressure on Warrington now. Hadley, Hadley took the number 11, Steve Mossop, the ball runs loose. Steve Kearns, David Kearns, sorry, grounds, but the referee rules, knock on, and it's a scrum down. And it's Warrington's head and ball. I think it's high time that Ray French told television viewers what head and ball means. I'm sure people watching this video, they know all about head and ball. It's Warrington's ball, and the referee penalises that man Fitzgerald for yapping. And there's no yaps from Mark, Mike Gregg. He plays it to Ken Kelly. Hooker. Carl Webb has the ball, he's struggling to get up, he plays it to Kelly, Kelly gives it to Bob Eccles. Now's the time for Bob. Oh, Bob got the punch then and the referee saw it. Oh, it's off, that's sending off, definitely. Steve Mossett off the field, a right hook, which crashed into Bob Jackson's face. What a stupid thing to do, and a very brave referee, not messing about with warnings, ticking off from penalties, just points to the dressing room and says, Get in the bath, you dirty man. Well played, referee Crofts. Fancy doing a thing like that under the referee's nose. He should get a brain transplant. Warrington with it, Clinshaw, foraging through, he'd love to score a try, like the two he did against Sheffield. Kelly would like to score, everyone would like to score, but as long as they win it doesn't matter who scores this afternoon. This is a four-pointer beating a team down 
in the bottom five, like ourselves, but this will put Warrington in a much better and more comfortable position. Got some hard matches to play. Woodness, Featherstone, whole KR. Oh. But Gregory has it, and Magnum knocks on, and it's taken well. Advantage to David Hesselwood, who has the ball. Warrington in the lead, still 20 points to eight. St James's Church clock tells me it's 22 minutes past four. Well, it doesn't tell me, I have to look and read it. It can't speak, it can only ring, and that's a recording, I know. What's that got to do with Rugby League? Not a lot, but this is everything to do with Rugby League. Andy Gregory is Rugby League at Warrington at the moment. He slipped the pass, and it's very luckily taken. Foster and it's Rue that is feet are in touch and Kelly shots again. Foster come in. These wingers have got to make sure they're not pushed into touch. And Kelly's a right general on the field. A right joker off it, but a true general on it. And it's Sparrow's ball. It's Kearns jinking, but Kelly's got him covered and he gets the pass out this Kearns. He's got a good one. But Hadley takes it, and Barrow losing ground, they're on their own 25 yard line. Hadley plays it to himself, he's constructive but he's not fast, by no means. And it's still very cold up here and I'll enjoy a drink after the game, I really will. Oh, it is cold. Kevin James with it, he plays it to Barry Lightfoot. It's Kearns with a long, lovely pass to the substitute, Steve Ray, who's played very well. At standoff, he plays to David Elliott, who had a fine first half. David Kearns again to his loose forward, Hadley. Hadley throws it inside. It's a terrible pass, but it's not done by Andy Gregory. It was a gift to Andy. And another scrum. Barrow to feed. Barrow ball and Barrow's hooker's head to the feeding side of the scrum. And that's allowed. It's McConnell with it. Throws a bad pass that's taken very well by Mike Gregory. And there's a dust up again with that man Fitzgerald involved. It's amazing that Fitzgerald has been in so many fracas. He remains on the field and his fellow second rower gets sent off for that crunching punch on Bob Eccles is running now. This looks like a try all the way and it is. He never misses to bring one out when it's needed. You can see he's going to score as soon as he gets the ball on these occasions. Big Bob Eccles, despite a bruised face, goes over the line, much to the delight of the Warrington fans and it's a certain two points in the slalom lager championship to the wire. Bob Eccles, you can see it from the moment he got the ball. And the goal kicking changes feet again. Or this time it's just to the feet of Brian Garbutt. And Warrington has scored five tries this afternoon against one, which is more than most of us could hope for. We wanted to win, but we didn't think it would be in such a fashion. Brian Carver hits that ball, and he misses it. There's a curse on goal kickers today. There really is. The Warrington Man of the Match Award selected and presented by G and B Moat Accessories is shared, very rarely shared, but it's shared today by Bob Jackson and Carl Webb. So they'll share the cheque, which will be presented to them in the boardroom after the game. So it's Warrington in the lead, 24 points to eight. Only a few minutes to go. Oh, the referee hears the hooter. Didn't hear it against Wigan. Now this man, Steve Ray at standoff, has played very well as a substitute. But Warrington have been much the superior side this second half. They've had a truly marvellous second half. Remember it was six points each at half time and now it's 24 points to eight. And penalised for talking 
and Dave Hazelwood will kick this ball into touch into no man's land because there's not many people on the terrace down there at the railway end of the ground very sparse indeed and it's the big man Fitzgerald foraging away but he's tackled well and tackled hard and tackled fairly gets up, plays the ball to Hooker very light foot, light foot to Kearns Kearns gives it inside to his prop forward Kevin James Kearns again, Hadley, Hadley to Steve Ray Steve Ray for number 15 going into Lone but going down to a tackle by Bob Jackson this is Hadley going down again to a tackle by Bob Eccles and then tackles before of course sorry Bob and this is Kearns with a strange kick that goes dead not a good kick and Ian our cameraman tells me that the Barrow video cameraman and commentator he's packed in he's had enough <laughs> don't blame him he's gone <laughs> <laughs> he got home before the game's over. <laughs> no, he won't sell any of this match to the Barrow fans. So, Karen Manny and Unsworth, who does a wonderful job for us now with the spool. Warrington players getting a talking to by the referee. The referee's telling the Barrow forwards to settle down. He doesn't want any more trouble. Steve Mossop will have used most of the hot water. Sent off, striking, differential penalty for illegal field, field feeding, feeding is the word by David Cairns, and Warrington get the ball. Hesford's brought up to place it and boot it into touch. Will we get another try in the remaining few minutes? It can't be long before time. And Warrington have a sparkling win here. And Steve plays an unusual one, he plays it to himself. And he passes the ball to Mike. Gregory who goes on a move and makes valuable ground and there's the hoop to fall full time the Warrington fans, the diehards on this very cold afternoon delighted with this win of 24 points to 8 and the ground announcer is saying that the Alliance quarter final is on Wednesday against Barrow 8 